Hey YouTube, Wheelie Man here. We've got the latest update 2020.44 in the Tesla Model S and we are headed to go grab some lunch. So let's just see how the update works with the new Navigate on Autopilot full self-driving suite. So we've been down this road several times. Lane centering seems well. Let's see if it chooses the left lane or the right lane in the split. It oh, thought about the left and ended up choosing the right. It's braking, braking. Got a green line up ahead. Now the cars are moving through the green light, so it's not asking me to authorize to go through the light. If it's following cars through the green, it no longer requires or it does not require authorization either through the autopilot stock. Not, not the case because that, that light was green and did ask me there. Okay, so let's see if this handles this curve a little better. Oh, much better. It kept at 30. It's cruising. Yes, absolutely perfect. Wow, that was that turn was so much smoother uh, and safer uh, from the last uh, software version we were running. It was 2020.40.8, I think it was. Oh, and for some reason, we just got a phantom braking there. I'm gonna go ahead and step on the accelerator. Okay, we're merging. So part of this new update with 2020.44, we can now adjust the either percentage of increase over the speed limit when we set uh, the autopilot, or we can adjust it by a percentage or the actual, uh, you know, a, a definitive number. So if the speed limit's 65, we can set it to go one mile and over, two mile and over, uh, 10 miles and over, et cetera. Uh, or you can set it based on percentage, 5% uh, over the speed limit. In order to access that, you go into the menu here and then you're gonna hit autopilot and over here set speed offset so right now I have it fixed to go two miles an hour over so max speed right there two miles an hour over since uh, we're at, well we're at 55 on the speed limit I think there's some construction signs or road road construction ahead and go ahead and we'll go ahead and increase this to five six seven eight nine ten let's see how fast we can go 17 over, 19 over, 20 over. And let's see if it makes an instant change. No, we're still at two miles an hour over 65 because this was previously set for. So let's see if we can disengage autopilot and re-engage it. And it's still at 67. Hmm, interesting. Oh, phantom braking there. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, let's disengage autopilot. We'll take control. So we're still at 67. Perhaps it has something to do with the, maybe it doesn't engage or refresh until the car is in park. That could be the case. So anyway, you can also change the percentage one by, let's see, what's the maximum? Quite a bit. Oh, I'm not gonna do that, but uh, we'll just change this back to say five over just to keep it somewhat. On the freeway, it took the exit lane and we are now cruising on the exit, exit lane. So it shows a speed limit of 40 miles an hour, yet we're going to 55. So, and we had it at 67 earlier, so I'm not sure why. I thought it was only supposed to go a maximum of a certain speed over was set for the speed limit. So there seems to be something going on with that, but now it changed the max speed to 60, even though we're at a 40. And it's taking this on ramp. A lot going on here between uh, merging lanes, changing lanes. It's seeing the yellow flashing lights right there. So we're at 40. So we've got flat yellow flashing lights up ahead, ending freeway signal ahead, 1500 feet. Flashing lights are there. Car is braking in front of us. Speed limit 35 now. Speed limit still showing 40, it just changed to 35 there. And finally getting back under control as we come to this red light. So a lot happened there in that uh, short drive. 
but as you can see, we are almost to the destination. And no autopilot interventions, thankfully, but there were some sp speeds that were not anticipated based on the new update language. So if I put it in park, let's see if I can change that over. Autopilot, go here to seven, eight, nine, ten over. So the speed limit's 35, I put it back in drive. Engage autopilot when applicable. Come on, give me the signal. There we go. And now, there you go. So it's 10 over the speed limit of 35. So it looks like it has to be engaged in while, while the vehicle is parked versus moving in order to uh, reset itself on the speed adjustment for cruise control. So far so good, going through the green light, maintaining its lane. And we are 0.9 mile away, four minutes. So far holding itself correctly. Now I have it set for 45, however, there's, I also have the uh, follow speed or follow distance. Oh, it was set to one. So now I'm gonna push it back to seven. Give myself as much distance as possible. Okay, green light. It's not asking me to authorize. It's just going through it and it's slammed on the brakes. Okay, so it looks like it had trouble seeing that last minute. So far so good. Still cruising right along. Okay, now this is Pacific Coast Highway. We're on now in Dana Point, California. So still no interventions uh, from the time we got on the freeway to the time we exited. Definitely some improvements for sure on the latest 2020.44 software. I can't wait until the FSD beta is released to me. All right, light is green. I should start moving here any second. Perfect. I'm gonna adjust this back to one on the follow settings. We got a 20% chance of rain today. Based on those clouds, looks like it might happen soon. We could use it. Been a bit dry in California. I'm gonna need to change lanes here. I'm gonna signal to the left. As you can see, we've got vehicles to the left. We've got a car braking in front of us and a red light. And we stopped for the red light, okay. I'm gonna try to accelerate before, let's go ahead and put this bad boy into ludicrous, just so I can get over quickly while this light turns green. I'll put my turn signal on, let the car next to me know we're going to be getting over. Okay. And go. Oh God, oh God. Okay, there we go. We made it. And we're over. Well, thanks for watching everyone. As you can see, that was the improvements to the latest uh, software version uh, for Navigate on Autopilot, full self-driving, capable uh, Model S. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.